It's your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another sponsor review. Today, I've got a company called Glitch, Glitch.Finance. Check those guys out. You guys know that I'm a very big supporter of DPoS, Delegated Proof of Stake, Consensus Algorithm. That's what EOS IO, all the EOS IO chains run on. That's Wax, EOS, Telos, the list goes on. Very, very big, strong supporter of that consensus algorithm. Well, there is a new blockchain that is using that. They're using DPoS. We're going to take a look at it. Very strong marketing stance as well. I know people will say, well, hey, you know, CB, this is anybody can have a great website. Yes and no. Um, when you see a company, a project put a lot of time and effort behind their branding, not just their website, not just their logo. That's not your branding, but the overall feel and look of a company that lets you know they're serious, they're detail oriented in their marketing stance and presence online. And that to me gives me even more confidence in a project. So what is this whole glitch dot finance about? Well, it's just a blockchain based operating system purpose built for money market decentralization applications and decentralized finance activity. And so the decentralized currency secured using blockchain so far have failed to replace traditional currencies on a large scale. Critically, existing chains like Ethereum can only process several dozen transactions per second. Even operating systems built to scale like EOS are capable of just a few thousand transactions per second. But look at this. By comparison, centralized financial markets process tens of thousands of transactions per second. Thus, there is a dire need for highly scalable blockchain operating systems that focuses on, you know, specifically facilitating financial activities. So in contrast to like the Ethereum and the EOSs of the world, Glitch is not intended to be a jack of all trades application. Rather, their underlying structure and customizations are focused exclusively on decentralized finance applications, which is great. When you do try to be a jack of all trades, you are going to lack in some areas. So Glitch is deciding to take that DPoS, de Delegated Proof of Stake uh, Consensus Algorithm, focus only on DeFi. And I haven't seen a project do that yet. So I'm very, very excited about that. So let's take a look further into this system. They've got partners like Polygon, Cyber Unit, Bonded, Union. I've actually done a video on Bonded before. Router and Ramp DeFi, Trust Swap, and Sale Frame, to just name a few. But what I want to focus on really quickly are the main features of glitch and that is the high transaction speeds through the use of delegated proof of stake glitch blockchain is able to achieve a minimum speed of 3,000 transactions per second they also have low transaction fees so with a groundbreaking reward structure and we'll talk about that in a minute they have this what's called glitch grants and other revenue sharing models for the developers the revenue sharing structure that incentivizes community support through a revenue sharing protocol they call it which in turn ensures low network gas fees for users and to talk about that revenue sharing through a modified DPoS consensus algorithm that has a voting system to provide better decentralized control of the network and incentivize the network through revenue sharing and one other thing I want to mention is their partnership with Orion they have created what they call a GEX which is basically glitches decentralized exchange and this decentralized exchange uh, it will fix many issues of their centralized counterparts including the risk of hacking mismanagement and arbitrary fees numerous decentralized exchanges and so there are so many uh dexes out there we all know about them most of them on ethereum as such they suffer from these related set of issues ethereum made decentralized finance possible but congestion on its network now threatens its sustainability if you guys don't know you know everyone's talking about just you know use a dex well the issue up to this point and maybe glitch can fix this with their gex platform but you know decentralized exchanges are slow they have high costs which then leaves users missing trades or getting front run by bots we've seen that a lot on ethereum a little uptick on ethereum activity and gas fees rocket we've seen all of this you might want to check out what glitch is attempting to do here and so you may want to get ahead of the the wave and, and buy the erc20 token of glitch uh before their main net actually launches the test net is launched they have a wallet block explorer the gex is going multiple partnerships and a big exchange listing so definitely check out glitch 
that's G L C H as the token symbol and uh stash you some of those lunar crush actually gave them a galaxy score that was top five look at that rated 76 i'm gonna see if i can blow that up 76 there glitch 76 ranking which is very good i mean right behind cake right behind doge and raw uh, and rareable check this out i think it's a promising token they have again excellent marketing i know you guys think that that may not be that important but i those are the things i kind of look at and look for if their marketing is solid then i know that they've taken the time to put a lot of money and time in, into that subsequently that should spill over into or be expressed in their dev shop as well okay one other thing i want to talk about really quickly is a technical more technical thing but they support five different languages c solidity java golang and javascript which is insane that's great that allows and uh, will incentivize a lot of developers to come over and develop on glitch because if you're eos guy you're using c if you're a an ethereum guy you're using solidity so any devs from the existing blockchain world can come over and start developing and there are incentives for you to do so as i mentioned earlier the glitch grants will assist you in uh getting grant funding and deployment and revenue sharing all within that so again get over to glitch.finance check those guys out learn more about it there's a link in the description of this video to see their token on uniswap and if you like what you see maybe buy some of those tokens ahead of the main net launch because of course that at that point you would need to swap over to their native token by then it may be like 100x higher than where it is today so again check out glitch.finance let me know your thoughts and comments about glitch in the section below this video and make sure you guys thumbs up support crypto blood and that's another sponsor review i'm out of here holla